Welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and this time we're going to be talking about the Isokinetic Cannon. Isokinetic Cannon is a great little ability for those that have a high EPG or a le <laughs> or uh, exotic particle generators skill words I tell you those meds anyway so exotic particle generators or EPG combined with isokinetic cannon because isokinetic cannon runs off of EPG so the higher your EPG the more damage it's going to do now I'm hovered over my isokinetic cannon I'm in earth space dock and as you can see I have 18,362.5 kinetic damage. Now the important thing here is that does ignore shields. Okay. Plus I have some consoles stacked with that. And uh, yeah. So. And it'll give me some firing haste for my normal weapons. Now this comes from the Delta Operations Set. The Delta Operations Set is comprised of, and you can see it here on the tooltip, the Neutronic Torpedo Launcher, the Advanced Thoron Infused Polaron Weapon, and the Console Universal Bioneural Gel Pack. Okay, so let's just take a look. This is my science character. So you can see I have on here the Neutronic Torpedo which by itself is awesome. Okay, nice shield drainer. Has a nice radiation proc. I also have on here the Advanced Thoron Infused Polaron Beam Array. Okay, which again nice little weapon. Okay, and does give me some extra little things because of it. Has a nice little radiation damage proc as well. And then of course I have the bioneural gel pack. Now all of these come from, these are all reputation items. They all come from the Delta reputation, the Delta Alliance. So you can see here, and let me see, I want space. So you have to be tier one to get the bioneural gel pack. And tier four to get the Polaron beam array. And tier two to get the neutronic torpedo launcher. So you have to be tier four to complete the set. Now I do recommend this for those that are, that do have a high um, EPG rating. And that is because it is such a heavy hitter and it scales with your exotic particle generator. Now let's take a look at what else it gives you because this is a three piece bonus. So you will not get it if you do not have the three piece bonus. The two piece bonus is quite nice as well. You get a boost to radiation damage and a 20% cooldown reduction to the neutronic torpedo. So your neutronic fires faster and you get a boost to the radiation damage that comes off both of the Neutronic and the Thoron Infused Beam Array. So it kind of buffs itself. It's a nice little thing. Alright. But again, Isokinetic Cannon. And you'll see here it has a 180 degree targeting arc. Has the normal, excuse me there, has the normal 10 kilometer range as with any weapon 
has only a one second recharge and a half a second activation. So this is, it recharges very, very quickly. Or one second charge and half a second activation, sorry. It does have a one minute recharge, which when you consider most consoles and other clickies like this have a two minute recharge. So this is actually quite nice, but it does take a while to fire, one and a half seconds. And then of course, huge amounts of exotic damage or kinetic damage. Now this is not affected by things like torpedo spread or high yield. It's not affected by anything like that, even though it kind of acts like a torpedo. But as I said, it is affected by exotic particle generators. And to prove this, so right now, 18,362.5. If I take off, for example, this console, well, let's do this console, which gives me plus 75. So this will be a noticeable difference. And now I get only 17,098. So it does, as you can see, scale with your exotic particle generators. And if you notice on this build, I'm not too worried about mixing my damage types because you see I've got my polar on, I've got a beam array, and I've got a beam array. You'll notice I don't actually have, because this is kind of a different build, I don't actually have anything that's boosting the uh, the beam damage specifically. I do have other bonuses that boost beam damage or that boost energy weapon damage, but I'm not too terribly worried about energy type here. So I'm okay with doing a Thoron, or sorry, a Polaron and not having Polaron weapons for the rest of my weapon. Alrighty, so isokinetic cannon, great for high exotic particle generator builds. And this one, for example, in order to get the numbers that you're seeing here, my EPG, and this is resting, of course, is 515. I would say a high EPG or exotic particle generator would be somewhere around 250, 300. That's where you're really going to see the isokinetic cannon paying dividends. Okay, or, or where you're going to see a good return on investment. So if you can get your exotic particle generator, if you're looking to get it up to 250, 300, then you'll see some really good results out of the isokinetic cannon. You must get all three pieces of the Delta Alliance set, and that's the Thorin infused beam array, the neutronic torpedo, and the bioneural gel pack. All right, so that's the TLDR, and you can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on the Pilot Review Show. I look forward to seeing you there.